dot loop tutorial or how to use dot loop for real tours. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use dot loop. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to dot loop dot com. And if you haven't signed up for dot loop yet, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But before that, if you don't know that loop, it is a cloud-based platform designed to simplify the process of real estate transactions by allowing agents, brokers, buyers, and sellers to collaborate, share documents, and sign contracts electronically, in which it streamlines the creation, editing, signing, and storage of real estate documents, making the entire process more efficient and paperless. And some of the features that this platform offers, including document management, electronic signatures, workflow management, compliance and security, and integration. So basically, that loop aims to streamline the complex process of real estate transactions, reducing paperwork, saving time, and improving efficiency for all parties involved. And now, to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plans that you can avail. We have here agents teams, and brokers plan, and you will see the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan here. And now, to sign in for free on this platform, you could also click the sign in button on the top right corner, and upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page, and to create your account, all you need to do is to fill out your email address and to create your own password. Then after signing in, you will be directed on this dashboard. And as you can see, we're currently on the loop section in which it is an online workspace that allows users to interact with their clients and other agents within the platform. And the purpose of Loop is to bring everyone involved in a real estate transaction together, enabling them to share edit and sign documents, as well as communicate and collaborate. So basically from here, it will enable you to see all of your Loop that has been created. And in order to view the activity log, make sure that you also verify your email address by the email that has been sent to your email inboxes. And from here, by clicking Verify Email button, you will be directed on this page. And from here, to complete your profile, all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, such as your full name, your role, your state or province, and after that, just proceed by clicking the Submit button below. Then you will be able to go back to this page again, and from here, you can now start clicking or navigating the activity log and notifications, in which by simply clicking this activity log button or option, you will be able to be directed on this page, in which it will allow you to view a detailed record of all activities within a loop, including when documents were shared, when clients signed the documents, and when fields were modified. And aside from that, you could also navigate the notifications by simply clicking on it. You will be directed on this page, in which it will show you all of your notification that will help you to stay informed about the progress of your transaction, ensuring that you respond promptly and efficiently to keep the deal moving forward. And aside from that, you could also navigate here the filters. If you're looking for a specific loop, you can use this, such as to enter or select the loop status, loop type, in order to filter and find the loop that you're looking for. And you can even use the sort option by clicking this icon right here, you could also change the grid view, list view, or the arrangement of lists of your loop. And aside from loop option, you could also navigate the task option on the top panel, in which from here, it will allow users to create and manage task lists within a loop, in which tasks provide users with an itemized to-do list that can alert themselves or others when certain tasks must be completed. And users can create task lists from scratch or load preset templates created by themselves or their office, and by clicking this Add Task button, you'll be able to start creating your own task. And now, aside from the task option, you could also navigate on the top panel, this People option by simply clicking on it. This option will allow users to manage their individuals involved in real estate transaction within a loop. And from here, users can add, edit, remove, or introduce people to a loop, and the platform remembers every contact added to a loop. And to add a person, just click this button, Add Person. And after that, it will show you a pop-up window. And all you need to do is to fill out all of the required information, 
such as the full name, phone number, cell phone number, street number, or their address, and after that, just proceed by clicking Add Present button below. Now aside from People option, you could also navigate the Template option on the top panel, and by simply clicking on it, it will show you this one, in which the Templates option allows users to create, customize, and manage document templates and loop templates. And some of the templates available are document templates, interactive document templates, and loop templates. And as you can see under this personal option, you can choose either templates and browse. And by choosing templates, you can add an interactive form by selecting one of the templates. But by selecting browse, you can search and add any PDF from your computer folder or computer files into this folder. And aside from that, you could also navigate here the inbox option in which it is designed to facilitate the seamless integration of uploaded documents into loops. While under these documents, stay in sync, it refers to the ability to keep all parties involved in a real estate transaction, up to date and informed throughout the process. And from here, you can create task lists by clicking the create task list button below. Now moving on to this loop section or pages, to start creating or adding a loop, just proceed by clicking the add a loop button below here or you could also click this button and upon clicking on it you will be directed on this page and from here all you need to do is to fill out the loop name photo and finish section now for the first step is the loop name so from here you could also enter your property address or you could also input your client's name depending on your preferences so let's say i'm going to enter here the address then just proceed by clicking the continue button below here now for the second step is the photo. So from here you can simply upload a photo of your property from your computer files. And after uploading just click done button below here then you will be directed on the last step which is the finish section. And from here you will also be given to create another loop or you could also select the type of your property we have here listing for sale, listing for lease. But I'm going to choose real estate other. And upon clicking on it the next thing that you need to do is to select the status of your property we have here in progress, new, withdrawn, done, and terminated. And after selecting the status of your property, the next thing that you need to do is to fill out or enter the prices for sale. For instance, I'm going to enter here 50 million for this property. And if you are now done filling out all of the required information, just click view loop button below here, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, it will show you that your loops has now been added. So basically, the main purpose of creating loops in real estate transactions using that loop is to organize and manage the various documents and tasks related to a specific property or transaction. Since within a loop, real estate professionals can interact with the clients and other agents, share and collaborate on documents, and manage tasks. So basically, that loop will help realtors in real estate transactions when managed effectively since it also serves to streamline the entire process, enhance organization, and improve transparency and collaboration among all parties involved. So that is just how you can use that loop. Thank you.